minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to be building not an SSTO, but something like my, uh, like the one I just built for you guys. Um, it's like a super 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 tiny SSTO, and um, well, it's not an SSTO, it is a um, two-staged vehicle. So if anything you'd call it uh, a super tiny micro two s da, 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 s t o which means two staged to orbit i have no idea if that's even official that's kind of like my made up thingamajig all right now believe it or not we will get a relatively nice looking um satellite not a sputnik not a little sputnik satellite but uh, more of a larger satellite like the ones you've seen me put up there before with with first we gotta get something to actually put it on what's that 0 0.04 0 0.1 uh yeah we'll use that one i've already built a prototype and i've tested it out and it works beautifully so this one's gonna be a little different because the prototype had a sputnik uh, a small little sputnik like uh what am i looking for fuel duh a small little sputnik like satellite on it. Instead of RCS fuel though, I used actual fuel fuel. Because it is a, it is a two-staged vehicle, and it is not an SSTO. It simply gets the satellite up to orbital altitude, and then falls back to the Earth, parachutes. It's a reusable vehicle. So, this is it. Right there. That's the fuel that we'll be using. Yes. Just two of these. Pretty much the first one will be sucked up in the attempt to get as high as we can past the thick atmosphere and then the second one will be used up for speed and altitude and a lot of times you'll find yourself running out of uh, fuel before you run out of air now we put this on here if you're really 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 good at dead sticking it then you don't need this and this just adds weight but for me I like to be able to have uh, hit the SAS and know that the craft is stabilized and of course, that's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty much, that is it in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, the crap I think of. Okay, uh, let's see here. We need to, of course, have a standing platform for our SS. Uh, blah, 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 for our satellite, because the air intakes will will clog all of this up. And just so you know, I'll put that right there. Nothing is clicked. We're going to do this the hard way. Alright, first things first. We need to build our parts. So, we are going to use rockets. Wait a minute. No, we're not. Uh, we need to have air intakes. We need to have... I tell you, I love these little things. They make a lot of stuff possible. We need to have lightweight parachutes. Because it is, it is not a sacrificial piece. It is a reusable piece. And what else? What else? Uh, we need to be able to put power on it. There we go. And I think that's it. I mean, you don't need to put wings on here. You probably could. I don't think it would hurt hurt much. 0 0.02 weight. I don't think it would hurt much. But you could put them on here, I guess. But like I said, you don't need them. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and build our satellite real quick. We're going to use this engine, the little Rocco Max one. And we're going to need fuel for it, because it will need to use... It will need to get into orbit using its own power. This just gives it a really good boost. And let's see here. Let's make it a full-fledged small one. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. Put the put little dish on it. And, of course, put these on there. Yep. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. So um, please forgive me if I'm not calling out the uh, keys that I'm hitting. Uh, 
All right, make sure it's got all the little stuff on it. There we go. Needs battery power, of course. This is actually the heaviest one I've put up there using this one, so I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, make sure your symmetry's on. Two times symmetry. There we go. And we like the longs. Yes, we do. Or at least I do. All right. And I'm going to hold down shift and give it a little tap on the S. And what's that? No, don't call me. I'm not home. Okay, let's see here. Just like that. So the shift, hold down shift and the S key. Tap, tap. Gotcha. Give it a little angle. And whoa, I just messed up. Um, no, I didn't. There we go. Ta-da. All, all better. When these come out, they'll go into the, um, the graphics will go into the solar panels, which won't look right at all. All right, let me see here. Da -da 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 -da. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and slap some stuff on and get this over with. Yeah, come on. Is this thing center? What the hell? I guess not. Okay, looks, looks weird. Ah, people just call me left and right today. Let's see here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's probably Jebediah asking how his space throne is coming along. Okay. Ugh. Let's see, how, let's see if I can get through this without any more phone calls. Come on. Alright, you want, uh, what do I want? I want two times symmetry. Yes, there we go. And hold down Alt, click. Alt. There we go. Alt. Like I said, we're going to run out of fuel before we ever get close to running out of air. So, instead of having the typical 16 count of air intakes for one jet engine, 14 is fine. 7 plus 7, yeah. 14 is just fine. Nah, let's see here, okay. Come on, get in there. I know you want to get in there. Thank you. Alright. We're just about done. We need to put power on this thing. Actually, uh, no, no. Well, maybe. Nope, nope, nope. That's fine. Alright, we got power, we got parachutes, we got fuel, we got jet engines, we got stabilization, we got air intakes, we have the satellite. The satellite has everything it needs. I think we are ready to launch this sucker. Wow, this is going to be tiny, 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 tiny. I've only ever tested it on a smaller satellite, so hopefully this doesn't uh, kill me. And of course we need action groups. Action group one. Toggle? You, uh, you know what, now that I think about it, you probably don't need any of this. Because it's not like it's an SSTO where you need to close all the... Uh, air intakes to try to get higher altitude before you activate your rockets because there really is no higher altitude getting thing you just kind of pretty much you're just pushing the satellite up there as fast and as high as possible so that when it takes over it has an advantage but we'll do this anyway because I have OCD and I think I think that is it yes yes okay and uh, good save Oh, well, here. I know I don't normally do this, but just in case we uh, do go back to this uh, satellite and want to, like, capture it, we will put these on toggle. Just make sure you do not hit this um, action group key after you hit it once. You hit it once, leave it the hell alone. Because if you hit it again, these will close up on you and they will never, ever open. You have successfully killed the satellite. So, you know, get a red sticker and place it on that key and just say, don't touch. Or, you know, emergencies only or whatnot. All right, let's make sure our, let's make sure our staging is ready. Which engine is it? That's the wrong engine. Okay. We want the jet engine here. Uh, satellite engine up there. We want to detach, deploy, satellite. Gotcha. All right. Save and launch. Now, it's basically the same way that I showed you on the first video of a super tiny or super micro SSTO. You keep it at 200 meters per second to about 20,000 meters. Then you level out and just pedal to the metal. But in this case, you will run out of fuel before you run out of air. Let's get rid of that, F12. And let's get some daylight going here so we can see what the heck's going on. Come on. Ta-da! Good, 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 good. Now, if you've noticed the markers that I've got going on here, it's, a, it's an experimental thing. But if I'm going to land an SSTO, sometimes it's hard to see stuff at night. Or even far away. So if I'm, like, way out here with the SSTO, it's kind of cool that I've got these markers set up. So, I'm, oh, I'll look at it and say, oh, okay, well, I'm kind of crooked here for the runway. And I'll just fly until these two little things are lined up. 
and then I come in for a landing. I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, and all of them have lights, and all of them have wheels, and they're able to move around. And, um, you know, plant themselves somewhere. Here's one of them. Okay. And here we go. Spacebar. SAS on. Full throttle. And I'm gonna turn around right now using the Q key. Until my little gimbal here shows north on the left-hand side. That means I'm looking at the very top of the craft right now. Keep it at 200. Any more and you're going to be wasting fuel. Okay, bring it down a little bit more. Bring it down a little bit more. Come on, I can do this. Come on. Fast, fast, fast. Go, go, go. Now, I will attempt to get the satellite into orbit, and then use the map to switch over to the reusable stage and try to have it land safely. Alright, almost there. 16,000 meters and climbing. <clears throat> 17. 18. Try to keep it at 200. 19 and full power, level out. Go, baby, go. Pedal to the metal. Alright, now your orbital marker will reach about 10 degrees. You bring it up. Try to keep your nose at about 20. Like I said, you'll run out of fuel before you run out of air, typically. Get a little bit of re entry effect there. Because you're going really fast, really quickly. And here we go, we're almost out of fuel. I know it says eight, but that's because we have five up there. So we got two, one, and out. You're out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and jettison. Switch over. Now what do we got with this guy? Altitude is 135,000 meters. So yeah, we got plenty of altitude. Actually, I don't think I should do anything right now. I should just kind of wait for it to reach up there. But let's make uh, See here. We got plenty of electricity. We're good. Yep. Cool. It did its job very nicely. Check that out. 130,000 meters. And where is this thing gonna land? Oh, it looks like it's gonna land on land. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we have parachutes. Alright, well, let's name this guy. Real quick. Good, good. And fast forward. Oh, okay. And that's good. Alright. Make sure your engine's on. Okay, spacebar is not working. Activate manually, and here we go. Sixty-eight, seventy, eighty. Well, it's in orbit, so and still has more than half a tank of fuel. Sweet. So you could, you know, you got more than half a tank of fuel to do whatever the heck you want now. Hit the zero key. And do not touch that sucker again forever, unless you want to destroy the satellite. Cool. Alright, we got a satellite into orbit. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off for safety reasons. And hit the M, because I don't think it will allow you to switch over to it just yet. Without using the map, that is. Alright, let's see if we can't uh, have this guy have a nice, safe landing. So that we can recover it on a later date. Fast forwarding. Alright, here we go. Entering atmosphere. Four times... Time warp. Electricity is going down. I need to turn this sucker around so I can get some electricity. Oh, oh. There you go, come on. There you go, see so satellite, uh, there you go, come on. Give me some power. 
Give me some power, damn it. Hurry up, we're about to enter the freaking atmosphere. Oh dear. Ah! Oh, that's not cool. I only got half, half battery power. We're good. Entering the atmosphere. So if you know that this little um, two-staged vehicle is going to land in this area almost every single time if you were to launch in this direction, then good news is, is um, you can always recover it. It's always going to it's always gonna land in this area. You could, you could put like a little base or something right there. Alright, let me uh, jump forward a little bit. Alright, deploying parachutes. You know, I really don't know what to nickname this thing. Maybe a uh, space hopper? Hmm. Alright, parachute deployed. Awesome. Oh, what the hell is going on with those parachutes? Oh well. Alright. Please don't crash, please don't crash! Ooh! Oh no, I think something broke. I saw it cave in on itself. Uh, SS? Here we go. I don't know if you guys saw that. It's like, poof. I think the jet engine broke. Hmm. Well, cool, awesome. <laughs> there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea what to call this other than uh, the thing I'm a Bob. No, 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 no. I have to give it a cool name. Well, if you guys can come up with a cool name, that'd be cool. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I am Beos, signing off.